gonna burn my face off. Good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to the channel. I've missed you. Thank you very much for clicking that button and joining me for today's video. I hope you're all well. So then, my most honorable ladies and gents, the day is finally upon us. The day where my most favorite folding stove of all time could potentially be knocked off its perch. If you would be kind enough as to let me put this video into some kind of context for all of my new subscribers. So since the birth of the very, very first YouTube channel, then called Bushcraft ST, was born some 14 or 15 years ago now, my goal to folding bushcraft stove for everything cooking, boiling, and just keeping warm by the fire has been the Bushcraft Essentials Bushbox XL. And in all my years of ownership of the Bushbox XL, I thought my love would be unwavering. And it was, up until I picked up the titanium version of this stove. Now, I am not going to spend the entirety of this video delving into the disappointments regarding this stove. But what I will say very quickly, ladies and gents, is that after two years ownership and regular use with this stove, it has just not worn as nice as the stainless steel version I owned previously. It has warped just a little bit worse than the stainless steel version and my OCD cannot cope with the fact that this titanium stove does indeed have stainless steel components. But guys and girls stay tuned to the video because we are very briefly going to be comparing the two stoves together and then we're going to give the new stove a full workout so it's going to be an exciting one. Now then ladies and gents without further ado let me introduce you to the new stove. So here we have today the Winnowell titanium backpack stove. Let's talk about it. Now the stove does comprise of two pieces, but each piece can be purchased separately. So first off, we'll start with the stove. So there's your box. If some of you guys are familiar with the brand Winnowell, you'll know that I am also a massive fan of this brand. Um, and these typically specialize in the hot tent stoves, uh, which I have two of now. Taking the stove out of its bag. You'll get a set of instructions like so, and the sexy little stove itself. Check that out guys. The second piece of the puzzle is what Winnowell call the table board bottom tray. And guys, you can guarantee this is a full 100% titanium constructed stove. In the box you will receive another set of instructions for the table board bottom tray in titanium and also the titanium board bottom so tray. Here we have the Winnowell titanium backpack stove in its flat pack form and if we very quickly just dismantle the bush box XL you'll see just how thin these stoves fold down and that is this type of stove's bread and butter the ability to fold down that flat and the minimal contact it takes to actually get this stove up and functional. So if we take the winner well now, just lock that down and then the flap, the grill plate goes over and there we have both stoves constructed and ready to go. Now, as mentioned before, folks, the Winnowell titanium backpack stove can be purchased on its own and be used as you see it here. And I will say, just holding both stoves in the hand the Winnowell titanium backpack stove is a far lighter stove. We will delve into the specifications a bit later into the video. Now, if we quickly take a look at each stove's form factor, you'll see that the Winnowell is more of a horizontally built stove and the Bush Box is more of a vertical stove. But that will be the last we see of the Bush Box in this video. Let's concentrate on the Winnowell. So here we have the titanium table board bottom tray. Very easily assembled, just flick out the two legs flip that over and this is designed to raise the stove off the ground to minimize fire scars on the surface. Um, the tray at the front very easily assembled again just open these two hooks like so. These will secure into the stove and the stove will sit on top of the table. I'll demonstrate that now. So here you can see all the individual stove components and it is very very easy to assemble but also very functional. So the front of the stove sits on the tray and we have two notches here as you can see and they will slide into the corresponding notches on the back of the stove. Just slide that back and that will seat itself in. The tray on the front, open the two hooks as I've shown you before. This will slide into the stove 
and then just push the notches into the slots on the side. And here we have the fully constructed stove and I must say, ladies and gents, she is an absolute stunner. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Now before we get into the specifications, um, I will say this stove is not advertised as a multi-fuel stove. It is basically just a fireplace stove with that folding grate over the top. But I am very pleased to announce that I have actually come up with my very first mod for this stove and I will demonstrate that to you straight after the specification bits. The Winnerwell Titanium Fast Fold Backpack Wood Burning Stove is an exceptional cooking solution for backpackers, bushcrafters and campers providing a reliable heat source and cooking capabilities in the wilderness. Constructed from durable and ultralight titanium, the stove boasts exceptional durability and corrosion resistance, making it an ideal companion for outdoor adventures. The unique hinged design allows for easy assembly and compact storage, ensuring convenience during backpacking trips and camping expeditions. With its compact size and weighing only 11 ounces, the stove is highly portable and can be easily packed in a backpack without adding significant weight. Now then, guys and girls, going over the dimensions and the weight of this stove alone, it comes in at 22.4 by 21 by 3.9 centimeters. And we have a weight of 311 grams or 10.97 ounce. So absolutely fantastic in that regard. Now the titanium table board bottom tray does come in slightly heavier at 360 grams. And I will give you the storage dimensions because that's what's more important. And they come in at 185 by 165 by 30 mil. So again, very compact. And with both the stove and the tray, can both be very easily stored away together. Like so. Now, folk, for as beautiful and as stunning as the stove is, unfortunately, it's not all rainbows and sunshine for the stove just yet. And that's because, as mentioned before, this is designed to be solely for fire. Uh, it's a wood burning stove. There is no mention in the documents of any multi fuel um, support for the stove. And if we do try and introduce a small alcohol burner there, you'll see. Um, that is way too far from the cup we're going to have on top there to get a, an efficient burn. Now then, guys and girls, I have fashioned two titanium ribs from the great chimney bending disaster of about two years ago now. And the little hoarder inside of me said, keep hold of it because you may use it. And here we are, lo and behold today. So on the stove, you'll see we have two cutouts here and on this side. And if we introduce these into the stove, and I've tried this at home, it does work if we can get that bloody ending, and there. What this does is allows you to seat your pot inside by opening up the grate. So there you'll see, we have somewhere now we can sit the pot, and what that does is lower the base of that pot closer to that sweet spot on the flame of the alcohol stove, meaning you'll get a much more efficient burn using less fuel than you would having it all the way up here. So we're gonna get a brew on now, test that theory. It does work, because I've already tried it, so there we go. These, I will say, weigh around 23 grams, so absolutely no weight at all. Okay, folks, so a delicious pot of black coffee has been accomplished on the stove using the little alcohol burner. So we can tick the multi-fuel stove capabilities off the checklist, which is nice. So we are now going to test it for its fire burning wood stove capabilities. And as you can see here, I've got some nice chunky lengths sitting on the feeder tray, which is an absolutely fantastic feature of the stove. It means you can use lengthy sticks like this and feed them in manually, as opposed to just dropping tip bits in. This means you won't burn through your fuel as fast. So they're going nicely now. We shall just introduce a couple of these small twigs over the top and see how easily that catches. Everything's nice and dry. We've had a couple of nice days here. So this shouldn't be too much of an issue.
brilliant results right out of the gate. These should give us some nice cooking embers, fingers crossed on the bottom. When that flame's died out, I'm going to put a steak on there um, and see how long that takes to cook a lovely steak using embers alone and the fire grate, the um, folding fire grate on the top. If it can't cook a steak, it's not worth its salt. I'm sure it will. In fact, I have no doubts. I'm going to shift these because we don't want any more damage to my gloves. So we'll give it one last feed from the top now. And let it burn down. Well, that is some wicked flame. So we are almost down to coals there, we've got minimal flame left. When that flame has died off, we are not going to disturb the coals. We are then going to introduce our 21 aged, day matured sirloin steak to that retractable cooking grate and see how long it takes to cook that steak. Almost there. Steak mode activated. And with the natural properties of um, non-stickness with the titanium, we should be good there. Famous last words. Well, I can definitely smell sensual cooking steak, so let's have a quick gander. See how we're getting on. Turns away nice and easy. Lovely, and the good thing with this, it's the perfect size of your average steak, so you're going to get evenly cooked all over. Oh, would you look at that, guys? Another nice feature of this stove, you can actually warm your brew while you're cooking. Let's give it a go. How we doing? Oh yeah. Now then, guys and girls, we can definitely mark off steak perfection off the list. Right folks, it's time for me to give you my final thoughts and first impressions of this stove. And we'll start with the pluses because there are many of them. So the first one being its weight. The stove and the tabletop combined comes in at 670 grams, which is still remarkably lightweight when you consider what you're getting in the package. Check out that flame, that is ridiculous. But on the plus side of that, with the table elevating that stove off the ground, I can literally put my hand under the base of the stove and that is only very, very slightly warm. So that table definitely does its job 
and that will reduce any fire scars left on the ground. Another major bonus. Another big plus is the dimensions of the stove and its form factor. Fully built, it is a good sized stove, gives you a good surface area for cooking evenly on and it gives you a nice bed of embers in the base of that stove. When the stove is disassembled and all packed away into the tabletop and in its bag, it comes in at three centimetres thick, which is absolutely nothing at all and probably compares to the leather um, case I use with the Bush Box XL. The main stove can be used independently, which means you don't have to fork out for the two pieces of this cook kit. Price, guys and girls. Now I know the price is the one thing that will make or break this stove for many of my viewers, but if you just take into consideration, this is a premium piece of kit it's coming from a premium company. £93 UK for the stove, doesn't seem that harsh, and £83 for the tabletop and tray feeder, again, is not a lot of money. Now, I have got a bit of a disclaimer, guys and girls, and that is the stove was very, very kindly sent to me by Winnerwell themselves for review on the channel. But they did not approach me. I approached them on the off chance that their generosity would shine through and they would send me a free sample of something to review on the channel. Now, when I got in touch with Kim from Winnerwell, thank you very much for this, by the way, um, I asked her, I says, it was this stove in particular I wanted to review and I just said, is there any chance you could send a free sample or review on the channel? They went away, checked the channel, came back and said, your channel looks fantastic, which one would you like to review? And this is what turned up on the doorstep. So just bear that in mind. A lot of reviewers will get something free and just review it for the fun of it and say, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. I'm aware of that, but I have a long history with the Bush Box XL. Um, again, I've used that for over 15 years now. But there's always room for improvement and in my honest opinion guys and girls this does improve on the bush box xl and now for the negatives and no matter how good a piece of gear is nothing is perfect so i will say the only one that could be a future um, cause of concern for the stove in the future is the fold away cooking grill on the back of the stove but we have remedied that today and as long as you follow that same procedure i've done if you're cooking on flames just use temp pegs or something and use the grill for cooking on coals if you are going to use the grill for cooking on flames, that is going to warp faster than the Starship Enterprise. And that brings us to the fate of the Bushbox Half Titanium. Hey, come on now. I said the tears, don't cry. A little titanium hybrid. He's still a fantastic stove. We've had loads of good times together. It's just that my needs have evolved and I need more from a stove than you can offer now. But we will always have the memories, you know what I mean? Remember that one time when you nearly burnt my face off and my tash was half on the floor. <laughs> e now folks, we are drastically losing the light. It's nearly seven o'clock in the evening. But before I wrap the video up, I'm just going to show you the current state of the winner well after the first burn. So it fared very well there. We are going to expect some amount of warping on titanium. That is just a given with these types of stove, but I'm very happy with that from the first burn. And on that note, ladies and gents, I'm about to wrap the video up. Now, I hope you've enjoyed today's content and I hope you think this was a fair review. Bearing in mind, this was not a decision made lightly. Like I said, I've got a long and storied history with the Bushbox XL. First from the stainless steel and now to the titanium. But I'm not 100% happy with the titanium version and I don't want to go back to the stainless steel because I am looking at lightening the load now, so... The winner well for me is my new king stove. Until the next one, you stay safe and as always, stay crafty. Love you all. See you again soon, guys. Bye-bye.